The Surprise Symphony Theme by Franz Joseph Haydn. Haydn is how you pronounce his name. Franz Joseph Haydn, also known as Papa Haydn. And if you remember, I was telling you, he loved to pull pranks. And he was also a teacher of both Mozart and Beethoven. And he became good friends with, Be with Mozart. Um, because even though they were like many ages apart, um, they both enjoyed uh, a sense of humor, loved pulling pranks and telling jokes. So it's no surprise that they were actually friends. Now, one of these weeks, we're actually going to focus on, um, maybe in the coming week, actually, we're going to start focusing on reading notes. Okay, so maybe one of these weeks we can plan an hour lesson so we can focus on note reading. Um, I'll talk to your parents about that. But this song right here, is actually in C position for most of the song. C position is first finger is on middle C and fifth finger down here is on C. Okay? You do have one spot in both lines where you got to move your thumb and your first and your first finger up a couple notes and I'll explain where that is, okay? So what's happening right here? is both hands are playing the same notes, just an octave apart. And what you're actually playing are the notes of a C chord. Here's a C chord. That's the first note, the third note, the fifth note. If you take those notes and you, and you play them separately, like it's doing in the music, you're actually playing what we call an arpeggio. Arpeggio means a broken chord. It's this. Here's a chord, all three together, here's an arpeggio. So if you notice, both hands playing the same notes, just an octave apart, okay? So you start at the bottom, two times, middle, top, middle, and hold, okay? And you see these dots that are underneath the note? If they're underneath a note, or in this case right here, above a note, that is what we call staccato. And what it wants you to do is it wants you to play the notes with um, a little bit of a um, shortness to them. So you're going to play the note short, like this. The P right here stands for piano, not piano. Like this, piano. Piano means soft. If you see a P, that means soft. If you see an F or an MF, that means loud. Okay? MF is like a medium loud, or just a regular F is loud. Okay? But in this case right here, you're not going to see the F until you get to the very last note. And that's going to be loud, and it has a sideways V which means accent. Plus, it's got a dot on it. That means short. The last note is short, loud, and accented. Okay? And that's where you play all three notes together in the left hand. You're playing a C chord. Here, arpeggios, broken chord. Down here, C chord. So, both hands. And the right hand is playing four, four, two, two. Now, your left hand was here. In order to play the next two notes right here on the left hand, all you're going to do is this. Your left hand's here. You're just going to move it up to here or just that part. So the next part is this. Just like you had in the other song where the thumbs were together. Okay? And you notice you're going to have a hold when you have these two half notes right here. Okay, so here's the beginning part again. Hold. Thumb comes up. Hold. Now, repeat the same thing on the bottom. It's this. 
hold. This part and this part is the same, except one thing. Before you're doing this, playing each note two times. Right here, each note just one time. So the second time is this. And then, and then real loud, you're gonna play your one right here while your left hand moves back here and it's gonna play a C chord with fingers two and four, real loud with finger one, and let go. Because it's staccato, it's short, it's also accented, means loud, with the F, loud. So, here's the first line, ready? Hold, thumb comes up in the left hand, hold, come back, move your left hand back, one, three, one in the right hand, chord, real loud, and that is it.